this video, I'll walk you through the steps for creating an FAI from the third-party tool. There are multiple tools available on the market. Many of these tools contain optical character recognition technology to read the tolerances directly off a 2D print, or in some cases they work directly with the CAD file and provide auto-bubbling functionality. The companies displayed here all have bubbling software that publishes directly to MetInspect. This means you and your suppliers can use the preferred method or tool to extract the data from the drawing, and it can always end up in NetInspect in the same AS9102 format for electronic submission and real-time review and buy-off. For today's training, we are going to use one of the tools mentioned, Inspection Expert. The published experience within Inspection Expert is very similar to the other solutions. To publish to NetInspect, you start by launching the bubbling software and extracting the information contained within your drawing or model. In this case, I have a two-page drawing in PDF format that I have already bubbled. You can see I've captured basic project information like part name, part number, part revision. I also have captured all of my bill of characteristics on both pages. So on page one, I fully bubbled the drawing as well as on page two. I can use these tools to capture information about the materials and processes that will flow through to NetInspect's Form 2. I can also capture bill of material information if that is included within the drawing or model. When I'm ready to publish to NetInspect, I can select the Publish option on the Home ribbon, or many of the tools have a drop down in the upper left hand corner and then a Publish option to multiple formats, but the one you see listed at the bottom mentions NetInspect. When I select the publish option, I'll see a, either a pop-out or a window on the left that asks for my username, password, and company name. These are the same credentials I use to sign into NetInspect through NetInspect's website. Once I capture this information, I can provide additional information like whether it's an assembly FAI or a full or a partial. I can also choose which files to upload. In this case, I've selected to upload a PDF copy of the bubble drawing with the bubbles attached. When I'm ready to hit publish, I select the green publish check mark at the bottom. It only takes a few seconds and then it will provide an upload complete notification and return the fair number that was generated in that inspect. We'll make a special note of this fair number, 1312, as we go to NetInspect to open the first article. To access this first article, we launch a web browser such as Google Chrome, Firefox, Internet Explorer. We go to net-inspect.com and then we enter our user ID in the upper right hand corner. On the next page, we enter our password and then our company name. When we sign in, we're taken directly to version 5. To find that first article that I just published, I can use the search option up in the right-hand corner. To retrieve that first article, I just have to type the FAI number that was returned to me, and there I can see FAIR 1312 for demo part 1024. When I open the first article, you'll see Forms 1, 2, 3, Documents, and Workflows. The first thing you should do with the first article that's published from a third-party tool is provide the customer and program name. If you scroll down on Form 1, you will see the customer field. If you select this field, it will then give you an option to select which customer that you're submitting this first article to. Depending on the customer, you may also see an option to select which division you're submitting to. And then you'll frequently see a program drop down with that customer's program names listed. Once I apply the customer and program information, it'll secure the first article to make sure only authorized users can open and view this first article. It'll also flow down any customer requirements, such as a checklist, which I see on the far right hand side. At this point, I can now continue and edit any of the information that the third-party tool provided. I can go to Form 2, capture additional information. I can go to Form 3. I can see all of the characteristics that the third-party tool uploaded. 
I can provide results for each characteristic. I can attach additional documents, attach any workflows that would be needed, complete the checklist, and then sign all three forms and submit this first article to the customer. As a reminder, signing field 19 will lock the first article, but signing field 21 will actually submit the FAI to the customer. Thank you for your time today. In the next video, we'll talk about how to populate results on an existing first article.